Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Classes. This is the part 2 of the playlist database management system. In the first video, we have seen what is database and what is data. Now, in this video, we will see what are the different types of database. So there are six types of database that we mainly use in today's time. So let's see what are the six types of database. The first database is the centralized database. The second one is distributed. Third, NoSQL. Fourth, operational. Fifth, relational. And the sixth one is the cloud. These are the six types of database. These are mostly commonly used. There are other types of database also. Let's first see the centralized database. Now, the name centralized means it is a system, it is a database that will store all the data, that will store all the information at a centralized location. So it will store, so it stores the data at a centralized database system. So there will be only one database that will store all the information, all the data of any enterprise or company or any university like that. So the users can access the data from anywhere as the data is present at only one location so the user from any location from anywhere they can access the data now any user can access the data so to secure the data there should be any authentication process authentication needed so for example in the university suppose there is a student who wants to get your yeah, or see the marks of the exams then he can fetch the data from the centralized database to his or her student id or registration id that is something the authentication so that no any person from outside the university can access the data so users can access data securely via authentication. So only authorized user can access the data from the centralized database. Now let's understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of using centralized database. As the data is stored at only one location, so the risk of management is reduced in the centralized database because only one database has to be managed. So the risk of management is reduced that is the one advantage of using centralized database the other advantage is there is one database so not vendors needed or required to handle the database now every person cannot handle or manage the database we need some database designer or database manager, admin, who will handle the data in the database. So, as the data is stored at a centralized database, so fewer vendors will be required to handle the data. So, it is less costly also. It is less costly as fewer manager is required. Now the disadvantage, so as the data is stored one location, in one location, then its size will be huge and because of the huge size of the database, the response time for the queries will increase. So, increase 
in the increase in the response time for fetching the data as the size is huge now the next disadvantage most important one is if there is any system failure in the database then all the data that is stored in that will be lost so in case of any failure all data get lost so this is the biggest disadvantage of the centralized database because all the store, all the data is stored at only one location and if there is any failure occurs in that database then all the data is get lost that is the centralized database now let's see the distributed database the distributed database is just opposite to the centralized database in centralized database all the data is stored at one location but in distributed database the data stores at different database so it stores data among different distributed database for example if there is a database like this suppose there are four distributed database and there is an organization that has the data that need to be stored in the database so that data will get stored in different database like this so the data will be stored in different database and also these database are connected with the communication links so that the user can access the data from these distributed system these distributed database easily so these database are connected via each other using the communication links so these are the communication links and it is helpful for the user to access the data from these systems easily the distributed database can be further divided into two types that is homogeneous distributed database and the heterogeneous distributed database now in school time in college time you have ever heard about the homo and the hetero means homo means the same and hetero means the different similarly in the distributed database also homogeneous means same it means if the distributed database is of the homogeneous type then it will be operated or executed on the same operating system it will use all the database will use the same application process and it will carry the same hardware device and just suppose it in the heterogeneous the database distributed database will be operated on different operating system will carry different hardware devices and also will have the different application procedure so that is the homogeneous and heterogeneous distributed database so in homogeneous it is same and it is different i have written here os ap and hd now os is for operating system ap is for application process and hd is for hardware device that is the distributed system in the next video we will see the other two types of database that is the no sql database and the operational database and after that we will learn about the relational database and the cloud database so i hope you find this video helpful and if you do then please like and subscribe to my channel for more such kind of videos thank you